I know it's tough to do, but it's time to move on from the big win over the Falcons and shift all our attention to the big game Sunday at Indianapolis. The Colts need a lot of luck to beat the Saints, and should Drew Brees be licking his chops in preparation for this one? We'll find out all the answers from Greg Dola, the Indianapolis Star, up next on the Black and Gold Today. Okay, Houdats, by now you've burned the bags and you're flying high with Abdul and the ghost of Buddy D on the magic carpet. The Saints have won two of their last three, including a dominating victory over their hated rivals last Thursday night in the Mercedes-Benz Superdome. But it's time to look ahead to the tough task on this week's plate, and that's the Indianapolis Colts. For today's Pick 6 segment, we turn to Greg Dole, former national sports writer for CBSSports.com and current columnist for the Indianapolis Star. So let's jump right into the pick six. Greg, thanks for joining us. And uh, before we get started with Saints Colts, I got to ask, what the heck was up with that punt fake? <laughs> Nobody knows. Uh, Colts don't know. No, nobody has an answer. I can assure you, you know, the RFRA thing made my state look bad. Made us look like a bunch of idiots. Um, uh, well, it was all the thing, talk. It was all the rave. It makes us look like a bunch of idiots. Um, there's one person in that whole building, Lucas will say, there's one person thought that uh, snapping that ball was a good idea. Just one. The okay? Just one of us. The long snap. <laughs> the problem is it was the guy with the ball between his feet. Yeah, it's him. <laughs> All right, we'll move on from that. Number two, okay, let's get on to, to the Colts. And it hasn't been exactly the same, but there are plenty of similarities to the team in Indianapolis and the team here in New Orleans, you think? Yeah, I mean, I preseason, you, you're thinking one thing. And holy smokes, are we getting something else? And I, I don't know how they're dealing with it there, but here in Indianapolis, there's some shock. <clears throat> there's a, some shock here. The, the first two get to start the season like they did, just getting blown out at Buffalo and J Jets game wasn't a whole lot better. And, uh, you know, this preseason, I'm sure with you guys too, down in, Seattle, in New Orleans, there, there's the, the offseason happened and it, it raised expectations. It didn't lower it. And to find out that, oh, we're actually, the team in this city is worse than, than last year's team. It's a shock to the system. I, people are just now getting used to it, but still, it's been a shock. I'd say it's almost like withdrawal here, but uh, it's very, very similar. Let's go on to number three. One could argue the Colts played their best game of the season in a loss to New England last Sunday night. Andrew Luck is back. The offense seemed to be firing. Uh, is this team getting things back together, or do you think it will be up and down all season? Uh, I believe it's going to be up and down. You know, you could argue they played their best half of the season. Yeah. And they did. I mean, absolutely they did. To be leading the Patriots, I believe it was 21-20 at the break, and Andrew Luck was on his way to and did throw for 300 yards, and Frank Gore was on his way to running for 100. And they just kind of forgot about Frank Gore and just passed, passed, passed the second half. And anyway, they they were great for a half and then and then not great for the second half. Uh, we, we, don't, we, didn't, we still don't know what this team is. We don't. We, we know they can have a good half here and there, and they had a really good fourth quarter at Tennessee, and that doesn't mean anything. You know, put it together for a full game, then put it together for about five weeks in a row, but they haven't done anything like that yet. Yeah, I, don't, I mean, have they even figured out how to use Frank Gore correctly? I mean, you know, they get it, they bring him in, and it's just, it seems like it, it's, there's no flow there. It seemed like they had for one half at New England. It was. And he was averaging six yards a carry. Thirteen. He had 13 carries for 78 yards, I believe, midway through the third quarter. Yeah. And the Colts ended the game with, this is not a, a, a vocal misprint, 26 straight passes. 26 in a row after averaging six yards wow. a carry. Now, yeah, they were losing, but not by much. If you're down 30, you throw the ball 26 times in a row. They were down a touchdown for a lot of that. And 26 times in a row. And so... They got their issues are not just players. It's coaching. It's something's yeah. not happening right up here. Well, you know, someone could have made a lot of money and uh, off of me if you would have said the Colts were going to be 19th in in uh, total offense at this point and 22nd in rushing. I mean, what do they need to do to get that ranking higher and get back into a flow? Well, they they've started to find themselves. It's really kind of odd, but luck goes out with the shoulder injury maybe it's a sternum we really don't know what it yeah. is they're not being very honest about it and I, I understand that but luck goes out a couple of games ago and Matt Hasselbeck comes in and short passes and giving the ball to Gore a little bit more and kind of found themselves and and, and luck sort of continued it that way for for one half anyway against New England um, I, I think they the answer is there 
you know, the answer's there. And the answer is short passes, a lot of Frank Gore. Well, the problem before, is the Colts have the answer and don't refuse to write it down sometimes. 40-year-olds throw short passes. <laughs> Number five, let's look at the defensive side of the ball where this team also has struggled. They rank 29th in yards per game. And what will be the game plan to stop Drew Brees, and what do they have to do differently than they, do, than they did against Tom Brady? Here's the thing with the Colts' defense is that for, for five weeks it looked pretty good. But for five weeks the quarterbacks were, and I'm not going to name them all because they, they're all nobodies, but Tyrod Taylor – uh, I guess it was Geno Smith. I, Come on, I, I, I lose Bortles. track. You know, they're all the same guy. You know, the, the whoever plays quarterback. Oh, Mariota's not bad actually, but whoever's playing quarterback for Houston, um, Jacksonville, Blake Bortles. It was misleading. Tom Brady comes and carves him up, yeah. and now Drew Brees is going. Drew Brees is going to come. He's probably going to carve him up. The, the the Colts secondary is not good. Vontae Davis is great. Mike Adams is a great safety, but their other cornerbacks are not good. How how can they stop Drew Brees? Give the ball to Frank Gore 40 times and hope Breeze doesn't get the ball very much. I got a feeling you're not going to get that, but we'll, we'll, I got, we'll, we'll find out. Before I let you go, uh, give me a prediction. What do you think is going to happen uh, Sunday? Okay, I think this is a – and I'm going to write this in my newspaper in a couple days. Um, this game is a for, – for, in, in this city, it's a fulcrum. It's a fulcrum, F-U-L-C-R-U-M, fulcrum game. I'm from Mississippi, and you, all, you, you guys probably understand me pretty good. But Absolutely. Around here, I got to spell stuff out. Fulcrum game. <laughs> In the culture, they're three and three. They can literally go either way here. They're about to play Denver and uh, Carolina, two undefeated teams. They have to win this game. I mean, they have to win this game. They're at home, have to win it, found themselves against New England. Um, they're going to win this game. Um, not by much, and it won't be much to look at, but they're going to win this game. For what it's worth, I agree with you. Greg Dole, thanks for joining us, Indianapolis Star. We appreciate your time. Jim, it was my honor. Thank you, sir. See you later. What's one of the nicest things that comes with your new Cadillac from Cadillac of New Orleans? 0% interest. Get 0% interest on all new Cadillacs. Now at Cadillac of New Orleans. New owners, new attitude on Lime Street and Rye in Metairie. For today's Extra Point, we get a little assistance from NFL Memes, who posted a cute little clip Monday with a different take on the um, interesting punt fake call by Coach Chuck, Coach Chuck Picano against the Patriots on Sunday night. Well, imagine playing the game 30 years ago and imagine playing it on Nintendo. Y'all remember Tecmo Bowl, right? If you're like me, you live Tecmo Bowl. Well, it seems the play doesn't work much better in the cartoon world either. Take a look. That's just plain funny right there. <laughs> I'm still laughing. We're going to leave it at that for today, and we'll see you Wednesday on Wednesday. Oh, and don't forget to vote in today's poll. Live it. Love it. Vote in it. Go Cubs. See you tomorrow, my friends.